For more than a decade, our community redevelopment strategy has proven catalytic for Cottage Grove and 63rd Street. Improved housing choice has improved the quality of life for all residents. Today, we expand the vision to create a new heart of Woodlawn. POA stands for Preservation of Affordable Housing Incorporated. We are a not-for-profit affordable housing developer. We buy and build affordable housing to serve a range of household incomes from very, very low income people to more working class households. We have done well over a hundred tax credit deals. We also have a well-established and growing Chicago office. We've been busy in Chicago for about the last 12 years. We now you know, own and operate properties in 12 Chicago neighborhoods, as well as the suburbs of Elgin and Harvey and Kankakee. KMW is a community developer. We've worked with the community to add value, not take it away. Our team is proven and trusted, a team that has been committed to inclusive growth without displacement for over a decade. We've shown growth without displacement is possible. How to leverage public dollars to create Woodlawn Station and preserve over 100 affordable units. We have produced affordable and market rate home ownership options under the Renew Woodlawn. There was a gap between how you make sustainable community, how you make places for everyone to feel included in a neighborhood. And that moved us to the idea of why don't we focus on rebuilding neighborhoods? And that actually has been our focus for the last 40 years. We're always trying to get housing to do as much for the neighborhood as we do for its residents. One of the things we're trying to do with all the projects is make a project that speaks to the many rather than the few and make spaces for people regardless of whether you're from the place or coming in from outside, but that everyone feels included and welcome in public space and public life. Construction cannot happen apart from the community. It's not just about meeting the needs of the client, but also incorporating the community, ensuring that they have a voice and that they are involved. Be bold. To make a grand gesture on 63rd, we must be progressive and push the limits of what is possible. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity to create a choice community, a complete neighborhood where the needs of the community are met within walking distance from home, a place to live, work, and play that is positioned for inclusive growth for the generations to come. I'm originally from Australia, so I've always been sort of the person who's come from outside and found that it's a creative possession. If you look at something with a slightly different point of view, you can pull out opportunities that people haven't seen before. With all of those lots along 63rd Street, we've seen this as sort of an interaction, and that is developed in its way a unique approach to how you make plays. One of the things we did with the organization of the project was really take your traditional street block boulevard and cut it up, space it out, and really turn it so that we could make some spaces that were both for the public and for the residents all along the boulevard. It's about being in it and about connecting people to each other with the architecture. Social aspires to achieve the living building challenge, one of the most rigorous and holistic green benchmarking certification systems in the world. Ultimately, our goal is to create a building that will perform 24-7 in a resilient and carbon-free way. This is the spot to really let amp up and make evident the aspirations and ambitions of the city and the community and do something in the first step that really elevates the, the neighborhood. Buildings don't make a community. People do. Our strategy is a people-centered approach to economic development. Entrepreneurship and local small business ownership provide opportunities to generate wealth and build thriving communities. To execute on this strategy, we assembled a group of experienced developers, entrepreneurs, and restaurateurs. The 5050 Group is a proven restaurant operator with over 14 establishments across Chicago. One of the key elements of building wealth is ownership. We're exploring new community ownership models. Bringing attention to the area, for example, with the Obama Library, um, bringing in food and beverage, bringing in hotels, it raises the entire area up. Our restaurants, when we're at 12 to 15,000 square feet, employ anywhere from 100 to 150 people, and those people typically come from the community. The other thing that we bring is the opportunity for members of the community to be owners in our business. I was raised on the south side of Chicago, and having uh, a brick and mortar in Woodland 
would be incredible. It only makes sense, you know, to have employees or teammates uh, that live within a community. The patrons of the community, I want Woodlawn residents to be proud. We work with cooperatives that are built up of investors in the co-op that come from the community that we then partner with so that they have a stake in our actual business and are our partners. We give people the opportunity in the community to be a part of our business because it's, it's good business. We want to work with clients who are looking to maximize participation as greatly as possible. In line with that is the opportunity to truly enrich the businesses and contractors of the community. Building black wealth is not so much as important as building social equity because when that happens, then all of the ancillary benefits that come as a result happen as well. Take the money that we spend and spend it with people that look like us who then turn around and spend it with more people that look like us. What happens is we're able to keep that dollar in our own community. We built housing options for mixed income families as well as 100,000 square foot of retail space that includes Jewel Osco, Daily's Restaurant, UPS Store and more. Wulan Social is a place for families to grow and entrepreneurs to thrive. Our team has developed an employee community ownership model. I had an opportunity to uh, purchase a franchise, me and my wife. We got invited to look at 63rd Street as a location. And these are some of the best, friendliest people I've ever known. And then you look at the development that's happening around it with good companies that, that really have the best interests of the people. I really love the idea of a walkable community. And that's what I would really like to see in Woodline, where the person can go out there door and walk up the street to buy what they want. You don't have to jump in your car. Community is a priority. Building a community where people know each other's names, that's a priority. I've seen a lot of change in Woodline. There are various organizations that created an environment for residents to come together and have a conversation. Residents sitting at the table with the powers to be to truly put in place the plans that we see for our community. We've shown what is possible in Woodlawn. It's time to build on what we started. The community deserves it, and in fact, it's long overdue.